This interview is being brought to you by BabyFightGear.com. Baby Fight Gear is dedicated to providing a single source for children's mixed martial arts. Inspired clothing, the softer side of tough sports. Our clothing is available in sizes newborn to toddler. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? I'm sick. Sick as a dog. <laughs> Uh, what's going yeah, on? Uh, uh, not much. Just the funnest part of fighting, weight cutting. Oh, fun. I like that poster. No, oh, thanks, thanks. Your girlfriend? I wish. <laughs> okay, man. Okay, so we'll just get started here. That cool, man? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, last time we had you on the show was a week before your fight with James Krause. Um, just walk the fans through that fight. I'm a little biased. Did you watch the fight? You know what? I can't even lie. I didn't catch it. Uh, check it out. It's on uh, YouTube, I think, or Facebook. But uh, it was a good fight. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting uh, a little bit more action. Uh, but in his defense, the mats were horribly slick. So he did the smart thing, and uh, we ended up just clenching against the cage most of it. Um, he, uh, he squeaked away with a split decision. Uh, if I was a judge, I guess I shouldn't say anything. I should just never leave it to the judges. Right. It's easier said than done when you're fighting a guy like James. So obviously he was uh, sticking and moving. He wasn't coming forward very much? Oh, no. He was coming forward too much. He was uh, pressing me up against the cage. Oh. Uh, I tried to uh, bait him into standing up a little bit, but he didn't want any part of that. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So on the ground, too, um, I expect a little bit more, but, uh, you know... Uh, he wasn't able to hold me or control me on the ground, so I thought we were home free when I was able to stand back up, but uh, no, we, we wanted to keep it up against the cage, so, you know, he came away with a W. That's what everybody wants at the end of the night anyway, so. Okay, man, well, moving forward here, how was your health coming out of that fight? Everything was great, um, 100%, no excuses, um, just, you know, wanted to go out there and perform and put on a show, and I think we had the fans entertained for most of the fight, so it was good. Okay, man, RFA is a growing promotion. Would you be interested in returning for that company? Yeah, we're uh, actually uh, in talks right now, me and Scott uh, cut birth about a multi-fight deal, so I think they liked what they saw, and uh, it's an awesome organization, and I'm really excited to be a part of uh, that growing group, um, especially with, uh, you know, Scott and uh, the new president, Ed Soros, and uh, just an awesome promotion to work for. Good stuff, man. So a few months back, or maybe it was a few weeks, I'm not sure, I seen you promoting a MMA event online. Um, was that your event? Yeah, our event is October 20th, Rumble in the Zoo, rumbleinthezoo.com. Um, it's a homegrown Kalamazoo show. We're trying to uh, promote uh good fighting for amateurs because we're not regulated in the state and we're getting a really bad rep around here with some of the shenanigans that have, been, have gone down at uh, other shows. Um, it's actually pretty scary. I think they're going to mess it up for a lot of people. No medicals, uh, mismatches, a lot of things like that. Our show, we have docs. We have uh, big support from Borges Hospital, which is one of the main hospitals here in town. They're, they're represented with full medical staff. We have uh, full blood work requirements, HIV, Hep C, Hep e, and then we have uh, a doctor conductor physicals, a doctor, not a medic or a, a nurse or anything like that, uh, on site here at Wayne. So fighter safety is a huge thing, and we want to show people what real MMA is about, not just a, you know, a trailer park fight. Paper. Right, right. Yeah, for sure, man. Okay, so you're telling me you got a kickboxing match this weekend. Just talk about that. I uh, just wanted to stay active as much as possible, uh, you know, just uh, it's good to get in there and, and not get rusty and uh, wanting to kind of wait for RFA, so um, got into this uh, elite uh, federation of kickboxers, which is sanctioned by an organization overseas as well, and um, it's a pro, pro bout, and uh, should be fun, just go out there and, and work on striking and, uh, you know, just go through making the weight and... Uh, the pregame jitters and everything like that. Right. So I'm excited for it. It's, uh, looking at it as part of my tr training. I have a really tough opponent who's really wild and young and long and should make a really exciting, interesting striking fight. Very cool, man. Very cool. Where's that going down at? 
That is at the Bellagio in um, Warren or Wayne, Michigan. So a couple hours from Kalamazoo, close to Detroit, Michigan. Awesome, man. Um, something like this, is this more, you mentioned you're thinking of it as part of your training? Absolutely. It's part of my training and also um, a baby needs diapers. So Right. Yeah, it's, a, it's a side job. I'm moonlighting as a kickboxer. Have you ever done kickboxing before or is this something new? Uh, my amateur background was in Olympic Taekwondo. Uh, similar, uh, it's a knockout sport, but uh, you can't punch to the face. This one you can punch to the face and you can kick below the belt. So um, similar, but not quite the same. I'm excited for it. Okay, man, you talked about uh, negotiating with RFA here. When would you like to get back in the cage? Uh, I think we're shooting for November, uh, November of this year. So I'm really excited. We're about eight weeks out. Uh, continue to, to drop the weight, and uh, it's going to be. I'll be working for them at 55. So uh, after every fight, I say, "This is it. I'm going to stick to my guns, and I'm going to stick with my diet after the fight." Then I take one cheat day, which is Sunday, right. and then it turns into a week. And before you know it, I'm 195 again. So after this kickboxing fight, I'm going to. I'm going to see. Uh, I need to make sure that I stick with my diet and my conditioning and stay under 175. Okay, man. Good stuff. Um, now, this card that you'd be hoping to get on, it would be not the Vegas one, but Nebraska? To be honest, I'm not sure where they're looking at that card. Um, I, I was under the impression it's Vegas, but I'm not sure. It could be Nebraska. Okay. And I love that. I love fighting for them out there. Um, they have huge support out in, uh, in Kearney. It's amazing. It's the only thing that's there, so people go wild for it. It was crazy. All the fans out there were awesome. Well, man, I appreciate the time. Um, hopefully you could understand me because <laughs> I can barely breathe. But uh, thanks for doing this. Any sponsors you'd like to throw out there or promote your Twitter? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Prater Wellness, sports wellness has been huge for my conditioning. Uh, PraterWellness.com, Grit Mouth Guards, um, and uh, always Lightning Kicks and Jeremy Horn's Elite Performance. Awesome. Thanks for doing this, buddy. Thank you, Mark. Hope you feel better. Okay, thanks.